uh, masses in honor of the holy apostles uh, Simon and Jude. Today is the feast of uh, Saint Simon and Jude. If you uh, booked uh, a, a copy of Father Chazelle's book, if you put in your interest in it, I have uh, some available, but there's no extras really. They're only for those who uh, uh, said they wanted uh, said they wanted them. It's very good. Uh, I've uh, I've read quite a bit of it, and. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it, so I do recommend it. We will be getting some more copies, but there's only some there now. So, and I have a list of who, who booked how many, so I do know, I do know that. So, so. The Gospel for the Feast of Saints, so please stand for the Gospel. The Feast of Saints Simon and Jude is taken from St. John chapter 15. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, these things I command you, that you love one another. If the world hate you, know ye that it hath hated me before you. If you had been of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember my word that I said to you, the servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no other man hath done, they would not have sinned. But now they have both seen and hated both me and my father. But that the word may be fulfilled which is written in their law, they have hated me without cause. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. <clears throat> so, St. John uh, explains why we, had so many, why we have so many martyrs in the church. Because uh, it's not because that they're not good. And it's because they hate them without cause, just as they hated our Lord without cause. And our Lord says, if they had not seen the works that I did, well, they would have no sin. But they refused to believe the works. So when our Lord raised Lazarus from the dead, well, they, they knew he raised Lazarus from the dead. They didn't die. They didn't deny it. But they still didn't say, well, we should follow him. We should listen to him. And we should do as he says. No, they, 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 they were trying to devise ways uh, then to kill Lazarus. And the, the man born blind, he told them to their face, he said, how is this that uh, this man has done something? Never has it been heard that anyone gave sight to a man born blind. And uh, how is it that you do not uh, recognize him or do not want to follow him? So even this humble, humble man uh, could see this and could see that their obstinacy and their hatred uh, was not based on uh, sound reasoning. So he could not convince them. So miracles uh, do not always convert people. A miracle doesn't convert. It doesn't uh, bring someone uh, to the faith. They marvel at it. They might marvel at it, but if they don't want to uh, have a good will, well, they still will uh, not, not follow it. And this was the way the Pharisees and the scribes were, and this is the way uh, the Roman emperors were, and the well, Simon and Jew were martyred in Persia. So the Persian Empire, the Persians there martyred them, and uh, because uh, and the apostles worked miracles everywhere. They did as our Lord said: go and heal the sick, and cure, uh, cure the sick, and preach to preach the gospel. And this is what they did do, and they did always good. And because they did good, the world hated them, and uh, the world hates what is good. Now, uh, 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 Satan is uh, uh, taking a different tack now. He realized that bloody martyrdom uh, caused more people to convert to the faith. It caused brought people to the faith, so he stopped the practice of uh, bloody martyrdom. Instead, he's, uh, he's causing many to separate from the faith, lose the faith, uh, because uh, of uh, the hatred he has for God. 
and he's led many many men and many uh, preachers and many bishops to also uh, preach this uh, desire for the world rather than for the desire for God. It's the world uh, that should hate you if you uh, are doing what our Lord wants. If the Pope is doing what our Lord wants, well, the world would hate him. And the bishops as well. Uh, the world hates that goodness. Uh, and so uh, that's why they do uh, try to bring about the the end of them by killing them or getting them out of the way or something like this. So this is uh, uh, a sign, really, of uh, telling the truth that you're 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 not you're not there. You're not you're not welcome. You're not welcome. At least today we just say you're not welcome because they're too nice to actually uh, take out a sword and cut your head off. Uh, that would be uh, you know that would be um, there would be some. Uh, there's something wrong with that. They would think there was something wrong with that. Uh, so they would just uh, rather just uh, in a nice, very nice way, uh, push you aside and push you out of the picture and uh, make you irrelevant and, uh, and make anybody that teaches the truth irrelevant and uh, make that an opinion. Uh, they, they, they reduce the truth to an opinion and make that an opinion that uh, they teach. Obviously, that's not the opinion that you should have. That's not the opinion you should hold what is the truth. Rather, you should accept uh, the common different errors and the, the different ways of being wrong rather than uh, being the one way of being right, the one way of being truthful, uh, the one way <coughs> our Lord taught us is the way to go to his Father to go to heaven. So let's pray that we might find that way. Our Lord says, I am the way, that we might find that way, we might stay in that way. And he says, the way is narrow and steep and tough and uh, hard to follow. So we want to ask him that we might always be able to follow it and uh, stay on the path and uh, not to uh, be deceived by uh, the uh, trickeries of the world, not be deceived by the, uh, the trickeries of the devil and not to succumb uh, to the concupiscence of the flesh, but rather say, no, I want to overcome these and with God's grace I can stay on this path and uh, God does want me on this path, and he will give me all the means I need to persevere in it, and all the means I do need uh, to follow him and realize that he is uh, the way, the truth, and the life. And if I want life, I have to follow that way, and I have to submit to that truth. And so let's ask us that we might always submit our minds to the truth that the church teaches, and we might follow them faithfully. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.